All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So I've been getting a lot of questions on the monkey and what all is done to it and what does it take to make it a 181 build. So we're going to go over at, uh, we're going to go over that in today's video, but before we get started with today's video, the intake has been shipped out to the giveaway winner and then I've had somebody purchase the um, Yoshimura Cyclone exhaust, so that is now gone. And I'm going to go pick up a new bike tomorrow that nobody knows about. But if you think, if you think about it, you'll know what bike I'm going to get. But so let's go ahead and dive into uh, today's video and cannot wait to show you guys the, uh, the new bike that I'm picking up tomorrow. So uh, first things first, I, I typed up some notes on here. So the first thing you're going to do is go to... Uh, let me pull up my notes here. We're gonna to go to hard racing. We're gonna to go to hardracing.com. And this is pretty much where you're going to get the 181 uh, Neo build from. So let me go in here, walk you guys through exactly everything I'm gonna to go to, parts and accessories. Okay, and we're gonna to go to engine, big bore kits. All right, so the first piece to the puzzle is going to be, as soon as this loads, we'll get that going. All right, so you go to big bore kits and parts, boom. Let that load, and um, a lot of you have messaged me about going to Barber Small Board June 9th, 10th, and 11th. Absolutely, I'll be there. There's a couple other YouTubers that are going, and I cannot wait to, uh, to meet all them. All right, so they have the 19 to the 21 Monkey Kotako Neo dual overhead cam 181 big bore kit. So that's the exact kit and caboodle we're gonna get. But there's a lot of other parts that you gotta buy whenever you check out with this. There's a plethora, <sighs> there is a plethora of items that you need to get. So we're gonna go over that. So the first thing you're gonna get, or you need to get the upgraded Kotako starter. You're gonna get the Kotako Neo 181 piston kit. Um, you're gonna get the uh, starter, oh we didn't do the starter cover. All right, so the big part is the, the big bore performance kit uh, with the forged crankshaft. That's $1,049 by itself. And then there's like a bunch of drop down sub menus that you need to click on in order to finish everything. So first thing you wanna do is camshaft support bearing. Yes, you wanna add that. And then you wanna do uh, cam chain tensioner. No, cause uh, we did the, the speed shop one from Wayne. Uh, upgraded starter, yes, we're gonna do that. Uh, you don't need the removal tool if you're adding it to, if Wayne's gonna be doing it. Fuel controller, yep, you're gonna need an A-Racer, Mini X, and AF2, so you're definitely gonna need that. Digital temp gauge, I got one from Wayne, so I didn't do that. High, high flow oil pump, we did do throttle body. Yes, we did the 34 millimeter uh, throttle body intake manifold and the K&N filter pod, and then we did the I believe we did the PCX 150 injector. And then uh, we got the motor casing painted black. And then I got my head ported and polished uh, by Gromfathers, did the head studs, did the billet um, cam cover, and then we did the billet uh, on the top and the bottom. And then you're also gonna need a Kotako uh, five row oil cooler. And then we did the five speed transmission upgrade what else did we do? You gotta have the A-Racer, all that good jazz. And pretty much, I think that's about, that's about all you need. Let me double check on the website for the, you're gonna need, oh, you're gonna need the Kotako clutch cover. Um, it, you need that clutch cover. We got the five row oil cooler. Boom, let's see what else. There's, there's a couple other parts you need. And then you need to make sure, like I said, you get the five speed get the five speed transmission. So after you get all of that done, um, you know, you ship it to Wayne's house or Wayne gets it for you and you pay the invoice, he'll, he'll build a motor on a uh, engine stand for you and then he works his magic boom and then he'll have your factory motor in and out in no time. But, so that's for the 181 build, but to catch everybody up on what I have, uh, we have a G-Craft seat. It's a little hard, yes, but I, I like the, the look of it better. Uh, we have TB parts rear shocks. We have man on the box uh, handlebars. We have uh, Rizoma handles. 
Uh, and of course we have a bar end mirror. We have the Zeta, Zeta levers, the foldable levers. And then our temperature gauge is OP, OP mid gauge. It's like it runs about 30 to 40 degrees off. We have the, our headlight ring is blacked out. We have the Wayne Strickland, um, took apart the headlight, blacked the housing out, got the powder coated front and rear fender and a matte black finish. We also have the super light, um, can't remember, I think it's a 35 tooth and a 14th up front. I think it's that. We have the man in the box uh, clutch lever. Um, and obviously, as you can see, we have the, um, we have the over racing titanium exhaust that came from uh, we bike Japan. That's like, you get it while it's hot. It's on, it's on back order now. So unfortunately we have the Gallifer still braided uh, brake lines are done as well. And then if you come back here to the rear of the bike, we have the Rizoma front and rear turn signals. Let me see, cut them on. They are extremely, extremely bright. The camera does not do it justice. Turn the turn signal on. They are extremely bright. We have that on the front and the back. Here's the temperature gauge, like I mentioned. And then of course we have the upgraded, oh man, there's so much stuff. Clutch springs. We have the Olin's front forks for a 200 plus pound rider. Here is the kind of blacked out headlight housing, uh, like I mentioned. Let's see, what else? There's so much stuff done. Uh, we're gonna get, in the future, the G-Craft rear seat. We have the man in the box um, spools, rear spools on the bike as well. Let me go ahead and crank this thing up for you guys. Let that injector prime up. been a pretty pretty solid bike and like I mentioned we have the Rizoma turn signals in the front and you know a lot of people ask about a price point of how much this costs I, I really quit quit adding it up because it, it just it was insanely insanely expensive and of course like I mentioned we got the Kotako five row oil cooler uh, Wayne and I painted that black as well um, and what else is done in this? Of course, you know we got the the wide band O2 sensor. The bike should be pretty. Um, next thing really is just to get some different different factory tires on it, and um, I cannot stress enough. Well, I'm not going to stress about it, but I'm going to tell you right now, this bike is probably the most absolute fun on two wheels you can have and we're actually going to do i think the monkey or excuse me the grom i think i'm going to do a 210 four valve in it haven't really said much about that we've got we've got some new pro taper klx uh, 110 bars some new grips new throttle tube here's the powder coating on my ruckus i'm waiting to get the rear frame finished uh, powder coated on that hopefully Going to be selling this uh, in the future, but that's pretty much everything that has been done to the monkey. We left the stock um, speedometer. I didn't didn't get an upgraded speedometer, and we're probably in the ballpark, all said and done. With everything as it is, motor, all the cosmetic stuff, probably about eight thousand dollars on a five thousand dollar bike. But that's okay. This is my hobby, my passion. I love mini motorcycles in. Yeah, that's what it is. So now you know pretty much everything I have done to this bike. So if you have any other questions or comments about what's done to the bike, please comment down below. I'm sure I missed a few things on the 181 build. Wayne was just like, you need this, boom, I bought it. He's like, you need this, boom, I bought it. So may, there may be some things missing, but that's pretty much sums up the, the 181 build uh, for the monkey. And we're going to go pick up a new bike tomorrow. So make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. And a big shout out to everybody that's had a big helping hand in this bike. One, man in the box. Two, uh, Wayne Strickland from the, the speed shop and all my friends and buddies that have came and uh, helped me do all kinds of stuff. DHM, uh, factory motor, we did the cam and his ECU tune. So a lot of people owe a thank you too. So if you're watching, thank you all for so much for your support and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.